So I just want to do a quick video to show you how I strain my flow troll. It's very important that you strain your flood flow troll. And just to clarify, this is the US or um, American uh, flow troll, not the Australian flow troll. The Australian flow troll doesn't need to be strained because it doesn't have those nasty clumps and boogers like the US flood flow troll does. Part of the reason that may be is because this is made for, this is latex based and made for use with latex paints such as house paints. But the Australian Floetrol, that's made specifically to use with acrylic paints. So they're made two different ways. Probably not, um, you know, very, very different, but they are two different, you know, products. And so this is only going to be for this specific kind of Floetrol. Now, some people strain their flow troll by securing like pantyhose to the top. Some people also strain it by using a strainer that looks similar to this over a cup and just letting it strain into there that way. That takes forever. I've done it like that. Uh, I will never do it like that again. <laughs> but the way I, I'm going to show you now is the way I've been doing it for a long time now. And it's honestly the only way I will do it because it's just what I have found works best for me and what I feel like is the most efficient. So all I do is I get from, well, I get it from Walmart, but you can get these at pretty much any grocery store, um, definitely any hardware store. These are very commonly found and also very, very cheap um, items and they are lint traps. Lint traps for like a washer. Okay. This is the kind I get. Um, I get it in the plumbing session, pl plumbing section at Walmart. You're also going to need at minimum an eight inch zip tie. That's how long this one is, but um, I've also used 11 inch ones before and I cut off the excess anyway, so it doesn't really matter as long as it's at least eight inches. These ones come with zip ties. I don't use them because they're too short. So I just, I don't throw them away, but I throw them off to the side for, you know, for something else they might come handy for. All right, next, I'm just going to take this strip of, it unrolls like this into like a long strip. And I'm going to take that and kind of stretch about three quarters of it. Okay, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna fold it over. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it over like this because uh, I double up the layer of this that I use. Then I, to figure out how much of it I need, which is about as much as I thought. You want enough excess around the edge you want an, uh, you want enough excess around the edge to where you'll be able to easily secure it with the zip ties okay and so keep that in mind I'm going to cut it about here Make sure you are not holding it over your open bottle of Floetrol whenever you cut it because, I don't know if you can see, but it cuts a bunch of those little metal um, pieces off of the lint trap. And it's all over right here right now. Next, you're going to take your zip tie and Close it until it just clicks a couple times, like once or twice. That's it. Just because you want that already done so that it goes over the rim of this easier. Because you're going to be using one hand to basically do that. And the other hand to put the zip tie over it. Or, 
don't know if I said that right. Uh, you're going to be using one hand to hold the lint trap mesh in place and the other hand to put the um, zip tie over the mesh, the wire mesh. And you can make sure it's tight enough. Make sure it's down all the way. And then I cut off the excess. And then just like that. Very easily strained flow troll. And if you're wondering, does it actually strain all the clumps out? Yes. <laughs> it works like a drain. So super easy. And like I said, it works exceptionally. Thanks for watching. And I hope many of you found this video helpful.